Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to do speed and the camera test between the new Samsung Galaxy A33 5G versus Realme GT Master. So for that, let's dive into the video. So here are the both devices. First I will do speed test. For that, I am restarting both phones to see which one boot up faster. Let's see a few specifications also. The Realme GT Master has better chipset which is Snapdragon 778G built on the 6nm process. While the Galaxy A33 has Exynos 1280 built on the 5nm process. And as expected, boot up win goes to the Realme GT Master. Interesting. And next here you can see both are connected to same network and no application is running in the background. Now next I am going to open few applications one by one, I am starting with the settings and as expected realme 1, so 1 point for the realme. Next I am going to open camera and again realme gt master 1, so good not bad. Now let's test a browser, I am going to open chrome, both loading and boom gt master 1. So for now, 3 scores for the realme, now let's try youtube and let's see. I think both loaded youtube at same time, so no score for any phone. Now let's try the whatsapp and galaxy a33 loaded the whatsapp first, so 1 point for the galaxy a33. Now let's give a try to the facebook and boom realme gt master 1. Now next I am going to open instagram. And Galaxy A33 loaded the Instagram first. By the way, I was not expecting that. Next, let's try Twitter. Both loading. Let's see. I think, and I think both loaded at same time or millisecond difference. So no score again. And at end, I'm going to try Snapchat. And I think again loaded at same time. So no score. By that, we reached the result. And if we look at the scores, the Realme GT Master is winner of this speed test. Now let's compare the camera. If we look at the specifications, the Realme has 64 megapixel primary camera while the Galaxy A33 has 48 megapixel. But let's look at the samples instead of numbers. And from the first sample, you can see colors and detail are better on the Galaxy A33 while on the Realme there is oversaturation and the over contrast. On zooming, both have pretty good resolved detail. And next here are the ultra wide. Again, same situation, over saturation on realme, the color of grass on realme, I don't like it. While on the Galaxy A33 sample, the color of the grass is true to life. And you will see the same situation in all the samples. On realme sample, it feels like we took after the rainy weather, but that's not true. While on the Galaxy A33, colors are true to life, let's see more samples to make the final opinion. In my opinion, Galaxy A33 samples are awesome with good detail and true to life colors. 
but everyone has its own choice. If you love photos with more saturation, then definitely you will go for the Realme. But I love original photos without oversaturation or photo editing, so I will go for the Galaxy A33. Which one do you like? Please let me know in the comments below. And here I took this sample in the portrait mode in low light. Both did the good job in separating the subject from the background. But again, colors are good on the Galaxy A33. Here is another portrait sample. Again, both provided good edge detection. And here are few night samples. Again, I am feeling oversaturation in night samples also. Colors are better on the Galaxy A33. Other than that, both are doing good job in night samples. And now here are the videos, both providing 4K at 30fps. And on first sample, I can say dynamic range is limited on the Galaxy A33 sample. While the Realme performed good, colors are better on the Realme. And here is another sample, both did good job. Please let me know which one is better in the comments below. And here is the focus test. Both are really good in focus as you can see, no complaint for the focus. And now here are the selfies. In selfies also, there is oversaturation on the Realme. Galaxy A33 provided true to life colors. Again, if you love oversaturated selfies, then definitely you will vote for the Realme. But I love the actual colors. But in portrait mode, Realme did the good job and provided balanced saturation and good colors. So if you need some original or if I say raw selfies, then you can use portrait mode. Other than that, both did good job in selfies. So this was the camera and the speed test. And in speed, winner is the Realme GT Master. But in camera, as I love original colors, so my winner is the Galaxy A33. But if your concern is performance and you can make compromise on the oversaturated photos, then you can go for the Realme. But at the end, this is my opinion. You can disagree with that and can put your thoughts in comments below. See you in next video. Take care. Peace for all.